way you feel Andrew has played tonight and basically has kind of played all season, maybe especially the career back at this time last year? Well, it was funny. Uh, I told him he made passes to – he had a shot, another guy had a shot. He is a better shooter than who he was passing it to. I said, you got to shoot that. you got to be down and ready and shoot. And he looked at me, he smiled, he said, I'm a playmaker. And I laughed back at him. I said, I understand. you just got to figure this out. you got to know when you got to score, and you got to know how you're creating shots for his teammates. Alex was sick today. You know, you knew he was going to struggle. He hadn't practiced with us. He did a little bit yesterday. He struggled. But I thought everybody, Marcus Lee struggled a little bit today. I don't understand what, you know, what his deal was, but he struggled a little bit. But the other guys I thought really played, and, you know, no one played 20 minutes, or Alex Alex played 20 minutes, and Tyler played 20. Well, I, now I see Trey and Dakar played 20. Um, you know, but everybody's... They're sharing that. And the story, everybody wants to talk about defense. They all want to talk about the energy the kids play, the block shots and the length. And the story is you have 10 guys sharing minutes. That's the whole story. In a nutshell, why is that happening? Because they're allowing it to happen. Um, is anybody being hurt by this? No. Will their NCAA stats be as much as some other players? No. Their team NCA stats will be way beyond most. And their efficiency stats, the big data stats, will be some of the best in the country. And that's how they're evaluated more than anything else. Now, what's the difference in that Booker started the year one of 11 from three? And what's happening? Because he never defended this way. You have to understand, in high school, he didn't guard. They, he was like the biggest guy on the team, so he never guarded the little guards. He never had to go play like this. So now he's playing and absolutely running up and down, springing up the floor, staying in a stance, playing with great energy, and then trying to shoot a ball. And he was stepping in holes. He was bank missing shots. Like, oh my gosh, he bank missed that. Well, that's all he's getting used to. Trey's getting used to playing guards out on the floor. Alex and he got to catch up. They got to catch up. I mean, uh, what I did today, I told the guys, if anybody out there was not playing with great energy, you are allowed to sub him if he's at your spot. So if a guy didn't play, sub him. There's nobody giving away their minutes. You must respect that. John, uh, Dakari shot free throws really well today. What did you think of that? Why did you think he would get I don't know. You'll have to ask him, but I'm happy for him. He does want to play, and he knows I'm not playing him at the end of the game if he can't make free throws. So he's making them, and now Carl's missing them. Jonathan, back here. No player played over 21 minutes. Uh, is that something that somebody on the bench keeps that stat or make sure no one's you know getting too many points? No. Minutes? No, I wanted Dom and Derek to get in there and, and – gain some confidence. I left Alex in there because, again, it can't be me. They've got to build their own confidence, and that's who demonstrated performance. they got to be out there doing it. Um, Carl, I thought Carl played better today. Uh, Willie played okay, but why not be better? Why not be the best guy on the floor? Um, but it's hard. You get up 40 on a team, it's hard. John, as you're building this team toward March, and push comes to show, you either have your defense ahead of the offense or vice versa? Well, the dribble drive, teaching dribble drive as, a, as an offense, even if you're running things into it, it gets them to guard the ball. Um, and I think that gets us usually ahead defensively. Um, but we didn't do any defensive teaching this summer. We didn't do any in the spring when the kids came back. Um, we did it on October 3rd. We started talking defense. Um, this team has a chance of being one of those teams you talk about defensively, like of all time, if they choose to be. But they're going to have to choose to be that. And um, my job right now, and it's on me, is offensive execution. There, you know, you could say, well, they're getting a lot in transition. Well, if you guard, you're going to go get it versus anybody. But either way, you've got to be able to create a good shot and a good rebound opportunity each time down the court. We are so big, if we take great shots, 
and we have opportunities with two or three guys around the basket. Now, with that defense, we become really tough. That's what makes the difference. I mean, when you're offensively really efficient, and we are right now, but we're still, we're not executing. We're really not. John, I'm, I'm speaking of Carl here. He had a double-double in 17 minutes. One, how significant is that? And how, how difficult is that to do, getting a double-double in just 17 minutes, regardless of And he had way. four assists, no turnovers, and three blocks and a steal. Was it the last game he was one for four from the field? Now, last game, the white unit went nutty. Today, the white unit didn't play as well. That's how these groups are going to feed off each other. If I need to take a guy out and he loses his minutes, you're going to lose him. And it's all based on effort or being playing tentative. you got to go play. You're playing 20 minutes, 21 minutes, 22. You have to play. you got to go. And if you're being tentative, for, even if it's because of me you're being tentative, that doesn't matter. You're still not going to be in. You've got, you've got 20 minutes. See, the greatest thing is a lot of guys, you know, I need some time to get going. How much? Well, about seven minutes. Really? Yeah, I need about five shots and then I'm, what? Well, those are players who don't play on winning teams or winning programs. These guys, you know, getting in and being ready, we, we haven't had great starts right now, but the other teams are pretty hyped up. John, that, that's sharing you're talking about. How much credit do your point guards get for what goes on there? And then also you talk about Andrew's defense a little bit this year. It's amazing, isn't it? I, I don't know. Uh, we got to get An Aaron caught up to where Andrew is. Uh, the thing I, I added to uh, Andrew's plate now that he's really pressuring the ball is I want him to be a defensive playmaker. Well, what a defensive playmaker does is either block shots or steals away from his man, not guarding his guy. What he does to the guy he's guarding is deflect balls. But he's never trying to steal from his own man. He's trying to deflect the pass. That's a playmaker. It's when you're off the ball. And now you're seeing him be more alert, being more active because he's trying to come up with, he listens. He's trying to do what we're asking. And, and when I told him about shooting and he came back at me and laughed and said, I'm a playmaker. You know, he had 11, 11 points in 20 minutes or 18, whatever he had. I mean, basically, these guys are all scoring 18, 19 a game. That's their efficiencies. Cal, you've got guys, players actively talking about, you know, wanting to be the best defensive team in the country, about, you know, hope, the goal was to not allow any points in the second half against the team. How do you get a whole group uh, bought in that way, taking that sort of pride in their defense? It just tells a lot about who they are. I've come back to this in this day and age. Every one of these kids has pro aspirations and pro potential, and they're draftable players, and they're doing this for each other. This is crazy. That's why I say for anybody in our society where everybody talks about the me and mine and narcissism and all that, why wouldn't you root for this to happen and be good? I don't understand why you wouldn't root for this. Well, you're not rooting for Kentucky or me. Okay. Short of that, why wouldn't you root for this? Most of us do care about society. Now Jerry's going to write that I think I'm changing society. I don't, Jerry. I'm just making a point that people should want to see this work. That would go over good on Good Morning Yes, it would. That's where no, no. it said. It, it, was on, it went, on, went on Today Show. Good Morning America cut us off, but Today Show ran with it. What... Uh, how much do you struggle or deal with the idea of trying to be as efficient as possible and, and really go for the throat with not humiliating the other team? Well, the issue becomes, um, you know, I've got to worry about my team. And I'm sitting on the bench and you want to say, okay, let's just don't play. Well, my guys aren't playing enough to do that. I mean, if you're only going to play 19, 20 minutes, do you really want to go in and not play? And then it's not like you're saying, okay, put your last five in. Well, those five are pretty good too. And you throw Dominic in and Derek in and, you know, a couple of, you're still not bad. So I'm not, if you followed my career, I'm not one that tries to run up scores on people. I don't do it. But 
this is a unique situation, and all I'm doing is coaching my team. We're going to have to play games like we did with Kansas and Providence coming up and Texas, and uh, we got a Louisville game, we got a North Carolina game, we got a UCLA game. I mean, we got hard games that we're going to have to play 40 minutes. So I can't come out in this game and say, let's play 30 and let's stop playing. We just got to finish it out, and I'm hoping I'm half the time rooting for them to make baskets. Kyle, you guys had a prolonged stretch in the first half where you looked pretty good against the zone. Have you, have you done anything different with it in practice or changed anything? With well, the, the way they played, I watched last year's tape, and you had to attack them on the baseline, and that's what we did. So, the guy, again, I mean, without a whole lot of practice, we show them the video, we talk about it. In the walkthrough, I show them, and they come out and perform. Um, this is a unique group because they're really intelligent kids and they got great hearts. I mean, it's uh, the only reason this is happening is they're allowing it to happen. And this was not done for me to be a genius. This was done because we're trying to take care of 10 guys. Now, they must respect the minutes they're getting. If not, they're going to get less because the guy on the bench is just going to go in for him. Say, I'm not giving you minutes if you're not going to play. Compete. Quit being tentative. Play hard. Or I'm taking. I'm going back in. And that's they're not going to do it in a mean way, but they understand that. Today, the one unit was really on the bench getting on each other because I took them out because we had two guys not playing. And they were, like, all over them. Like, come on, man, you're costing me minutes, too. Last question, guys. John, Coach Cross said it was very possible you guys would go undefeated. How do you put up with the clutter <laughs> from these opposing coaches? <laughs> well, you know, all this stuff, I, I say it again. Uh, Coach Hall told me when I said, you know, the 100-pound jacket, he said, coaches wear that 100-pound jacket too, and you got to deal with all that same stuff. All I'm doing is focusing on this, this team I'm focusing on individuals. What can I keep adding to their game? And then I'm looking at our team. How do we become a better execution team offensively? How do we continue to play with this kind of energy? And what other tweaks can we give the defense? What can we do? Because, folks, I'm going to have to keep these, this, this team engaged all year. And right now we're ahead defensively, so I need to start adding stuff. And even if it's little things, to make them think so that they don't get into that uh, rut of just hearing the buzz. Zzz, zzz, like, I'm making them think. I'm making them be engaged. Those are the kind of things we're going to have to do as the year goes on. Thanks, everyone.